wicked shall not go unpunished. That's my topic this hour from Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21 and 23. I read, He said, Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Verse 23. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the wicked will always desire evil things. There is an adage in Benin parable. I will you and I will not I not talk about you. Nahara, you will ye. That is what the wicked is always thinking about. That when your enemy are looking at you as you are standing, they want you to fall into the ditch. They grant there should be air quick for you to fall inside. That is the plan of the wicked. The wicked, you know, can be in any place, it can be in any family. The wicked can be in the school. The wicked can be in the church. Wicked can be in the working place. It can even be the same place that you enter. The wicked can be in the market you are buying things. The wicked can be any of your neighbor. If you are part of the wicked one way or the other, it is time for you to change. Because the wicked shall not go unpunished. The wicked people are around. They have different things they are doing. We have spiritual wickedness. We have physical wickedness. The spiritual wickedness, these are the power of darkness. Amen. And the physical wickedness are the human beings that are just wicked, sometimes without a reason. Sometimes with few reasons. The spiritual wickedness, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16, Above all, put on the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Verse 17. And taking your element of salvation. Verse 18. He said, Pray with all prayers of supplications and prayers of perseverance for yourself and for your family. So how do we do with these wicked people? These are spiritual wickedness in our places. He said, put on the armor of God, taking up the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. To be able to defeat the power of the wicked one. Like I told you before, that we have the spiritual wickedness in our places, then we have the physical wicked people. The physical wicked people that are around, there was a particular scenario that happened. A man went to visit one of his brothers. He went to visit him. The brother gave him an old Nigerian 10 naira note. The person summoned the man to witchcraft world and said, my brother was not afraid. I went to visit him. He gave me 10 old naira notes as a gift. When they, they asked him in the coffin, so what do we do to him? He said, we should kill him. So because of he gave you 10 old naira notes to enter Tazi, that is why you want to kill him? That was the reason he wanted to kill him. Because it's naturally wicked. The Bible said in verse 23 of Proverbs 11, it said the thought of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is to kill, is to bring wrath, to bring argument, to bring confusion. Amen? So, the spiritually wicked people are the power of the wicked one. Physical ones are there. Spiritual ones are there. We must be careful about these wicked people. My topic is to remain, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Pray with all prayers or supplications. We are going to pray that prayer right now. That whosoever have taken a contract of wickedness against you to bring you down in form of pain you are going through right now, disease, sickness, setback in your business or your marital status, the enemy tried to invade against you, against your children, against your family, against your wife, against your husband. That God will intervene. Pull them down right now. All the fearing that of the devil, quench their fearing that right now. And he said, apply the word of God. Amen. Which is the sword of the spirit. Fire prayer. As I begin to pray, the Bible says, O oh God, in Proverbs 11 and verse 21, he Kabbalah, he said, though hand walk hand in hand, the wicked shall not be left unpunished. I don't know where they are, whether they are close to me or they are far, 
or they are among church members, or they are among working place members, or they are among family members, whosoever they are, Madele Lua, or from the school we have attended, in any way they are from, every work of the devil, fearing dust of the wicked, I quench them now, I quench you now, I quench you now, I quench you now, in the name of Jesus. Mareke bosi matiasa, ale kele bodan kutia, erete tete lilo, igra kasaka bala. I quench you now with all prayers of supplication and with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I cut you down now, all the fairy that's of wicked, in the name of Jesus. Then we had part of the physical wicked people. There was a testimony of a neighbor of a woman. The man had a chemist shop. He had a chemist shop very close to the area, the neighbor. And the man will be treating the children of this very woman free of charge. Each time they come to the chemist to buy drugs or the person, some of the children are sick of the woman. And the man will treat them free, give them drug free because they are neighbors. The man was having fleet of cars, bought cars for the wife and he himself was using cars too. And the woman that this man was doing good for the children and for the woman was a witch. She entered the witchcraft realm and summoned the man to the meeting of evil world. That I want you to finish this man. I want to finish him. Why? Jealousy. People are wicked. It may not mean that you do anything wrong. They can be wicked against you because of jealousy. I want to pull you down. They can't succeed against you. And they finished the man to reduce the man to square one. And there was a prayer meeting that was going on in a particular church. This chemist man was invited to this prayer meeting. Pastor was giving prayer point and the man was praying in the church. And there was a, the woman was confessing in, in his neighborhood. And people were looking for the man. Come on, you never hear? The woman, your neighbor is confessing that now he do you. Now he bring you down to square one. The motor when you arrived before, now he made sure say every, 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 you saw them, you saw the wife car, sold your car, you are, you are not trekking. Even the chemist have reduced to square one. The woman said, she's confessing right now, come and hear. The woman said, she's more responsible. <laughs> ah, my labado, aha. You don't mean it. They went to see that the woman is confessing. Labado, what did I do? The man said, you don't do me anything, I just be jealous of you. Every time your, ch your children will welcome you back. Daddy, you do, 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 daddy, you welcome. That very daddy yo yo is paying the woman in his in her ear. Oh my la badwa. He said, so I decide to finish you. Nami yo, nami do yo yo. Elebu tarabata. Every special weakness in our places. Every of your neighbors. Whether they are friends, neighbors, or family neighbors. Whosoever they are. They want to reduce the square one. They want to finish you. Marike Sekiria. We bring them down right now. We put down their strongholds. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible said the wicked shall not go unpunished. We release punishment upon them and said they repent. The Bible says by Ezekiel 33, verse 11. God does not desire the death of the, of the wicked. He does not desire the death of the wicked. God does not desire it. He said, if only they come to repentance. But if they did not repent, they will die. Go and read your Bible. Ezekiel 33, verse 11. He said, God does not desire the wicked death. He said, but if they repent, they will be forgiven. But if you don't repent, they will die. And I prophesy tonight, except your neighbor repent, that I will teach you, that I want to reduce you to square one, they will die by fire. I said, they will die by fire. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. He said, my call is a consuming fire to consume all the fearing that's of wicked right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you hear me, say amen. I said, if you hear me, say amen. Hallelujah. There is no peace for the wicked. Allah Badwa. Isaiah 48 and verse oh God 22. He said, There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. There is no peace for them. As they want to do you, their men will not be settled. Fire will torment them. Now, there are other kinds of the wicked people. Let me read 1 Corinthians 5, verse 11 to 13. And see another kind of wicked people. He said, But now I have written unto you. Not to keep company if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator. <laughs> fornicator are wicked people, fornicators. He said, or convertors. People that their eye die for your things when you suffer for. They no one ask, but they want to come and steal those things away from you. These are wicked people. He said, then 
idolaters, people that are serving idols. They are wicked people like Bible described them here. Then number four, we have railers. Number five, we have drunkard. People that drink and drink and become drunk, they are drunkard. The Bible said they are wicked people. And we are moving on. Let's take number seven. He said an extortioner. People that, you know, hire assassin. Amen. They want to extort money from you. Kidnappers. They are wicked people. These are extortioners. The Bible says kidnappers. They kidnap people so that you can pay some ransom to res rescue, amen, the, the, the victim. These are wicked extortioners. Then we are moving on. Then we are with such and one, no one not to eat. Don't eat with them. Verse 12. For what have I to, to, to do to judge them also them that are without? Do not judge them that are within. Only people who are outside you point out to. Say for people that are, outside, that are also close to you, your church, also close to you, your family, they may be weakened against you. Within you not to progress. Verse 13. Our last verse here. He said, But them that are without God, judge it. Therefore, put away from among yourself that wicked person. So, everybody has been naming they are wicked people. Fornicators, idolaters, amen. Different people that are there, kidnappers, they are wicked. We are going to pray against them tonight. Extortioner, convertors people. They want to take your property by force. They want to reduce you. They want to confuse your faith. Ila Tozokoboa. Begin to fire prayer. Labado. Our topic is the wicked shall not go unpunished. Begin to release fire of the Holy Ghost against them tonight. Lebutaba. Every extortioner. Kidnappers. They want to kidnap any member of my family. I say no to them. No matter where they are gathered. So what to kidnap you for a ransom? We nullify them by fire. Re Kesi Kabarwa. We nullify every extortioner. We nullify every higher assassin. We nullify every power of that and the fornicators that are around you. They want to lead you to sin. We cancel their power by fire, by sword. Now, in the name of Jesus, Mareke Bosse Matia, Lele Kutuma Beyanza, Rezekezia, Pragaza, Telele Kutimazia, Ratata, Lele Bodamuhan, Kaspuremoti Makese, Iratatatala. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our top is the man, the wicked shall not go unpunished. But the righteous shall be delivered. I pray, oh, sometimes I tell you, may God deliver you. It's a good prayer, but the way we say sometimes is annoying. May God deliver you. Maybe they, they committed offense. But the Bible says here, and it says, the righteous shall be delivered. It's a good prayer. May God deliver you. If you hear me say amen. It says, the righteous shall be delivered. So every righteous people shall be delivered from the hands of the wicked one. That's what the Bible says to stress to us. We shall be preserved and protected. We are going to pray tonight, Lord Jesus. I demand your protection that will be on me. Do not let me take my hand to take, take it away because many of you, sometimes God has covered you with a kind of a cloud of glory. Use your hand to scatter it by sin. He said there is no peace for the wicked. So the wicked one, there is no peace for them. So I pray for peace upon you. Le kata. Anywhere we are using our hand to scatter the, the cloud of glory given to us by God. Father, Lord God, we pray, O God, deliver us, O God. Deliver us, O God. Deliver us, O God. Deliver us, O God. By fire. In the name of Jesus. And Rabrasote. Erika Dabadia. Keriboda Kutiese. Ratata. Lele Kutima Kesia. Krokosoturima da. Retetele. Urimata Nigandese. Krikatata. In Jesus, we pray. Amen. Those wicked people. That are around you or they are far. <laughs> they are mind not said to as you wear your cloth, you come out, they are jealous. Whether you get you not get, you are they are jealous. They, they want to finish you, but they cannot because you are a child of God. So you must be able to preserve yourself from these fornicators, from this extortioner, by the power of the Holy Ghost, with the word of God, with the, with, with the sword of the spirit. If you are not a good reader of the Bible. The, the anointing of God cannot too much flow on you because the word of God attracts anointing to your life. What do I mean? The razor blade has no maglent. But if you take a maglent and touch the razor blade, it begins to be maglenting. When you use that razor, razor, razor blade to touch another thing, it will maglent other, other iron. That is how the man is con connecting himself with the sword of the spirit. 
which is the word of God. As you connect yourself with the sword of the spirit, read the Bible all the time and let it be on you. Listen on tapes and whatsoever video and you are reading it by yourself. You are connecting yourself with anointing. Amen. Isaiah 10 27 says, I come to pass that the body be taken away from your shoulder and the yoke taken away from your neck because of the anointing. Receive the anointing of God tonight, breaking away every yoke and bondage around you by fiber sword in the name of Jesus Christ. If you hear me, say amen. Numbers 32, verse 23. It says, Your sin will find you out. You wicked people, your sin will find you out. All the wicked people around you, their sin will find them out. You don't have to struggle to be looking for them. You always to pray. But they are sin that they are sin against you, against God. You know, it will bring them out of the public. They are sin with disgrace them. If you hear me say amen. They are sin with disgrace them. All the wicked ones. Because we are carrying the head of Christ in us. If you hear me say amen. So they are sin will find them out. In any way they are being cornered against you. They are sin will find them out. As we round up tonight, take book of Matthew 13, verse 49. He said, The angel of God shall separate the righteous from the wicked on the judgment day. On the judgment day, the angel of God will separate them, will separate us. Remember what? Beginning at the first test, Proverbs 11, verse 21. He said, Though hand walk hand in hand, the wicked shall not be left unpunished. We are in the same church, too. They may be your neighbor and they are wicked, they are watching you, they are wicked people. Amen. They may be the same market selling together. It may be the same school, same class, same working place members. You may not, not, not know them. But in the judgment day, God will separate them. I say God will separate them from you. The paradise we are entering, they will not be there. Except they repent. Except they repent. I pray tonight. As all of us are minded to go to heaven. Anywhere we are showing wickedness to our neighbor. That God should take away wicked heart from our life. The Bible speaks of 1 Samuel. That God took away wickedness from the heart of Saul. And gave him a good heart. Pray that prayer. That God should give you a good heart. Anywhere you are showing wickedness to your neighbor. To your spouse. To your children. To your parents. To your siblings. That God should take away those deep wickedness from your mind. If you hear me say amen. Fire prayer. Labato prokosi ataba. Jesus you are the one that gave a new heart to Saul. When Saul was sowing wickedness, Jesus, anywhere we have wicked thought, wicked mind against our neighbor, against our siblings, against our spouse, Jesus, deliver us from it. Deliver us from it. The righteous shall be delivered. Deliver us from, from, from all those evils that we are performing anyway. Make us to be genuine, to be real. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Psalm 145, verse 20, He said, God is good to them that love him. Do you love God? He said, but the wicked one shall be, shall be destroyed. Ah. God is good to them that love him. So, if you want God to be good to you, love God, love your neighbor, love yourself. I pray tonight, O oh God, with these few words we have heard tonight, that the wicked shall not go unpunished. I ask, O oh God, that the Lord also go in the right direction to be faithful and good, righteous people before you. Take all the glory and bring deliverance of our life and our family. For Jesus' name we pray. Amen.